what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in this video i'm going to simply walk you through some basic ass you know or you know some some i'm going to walk you through some basic ass shit like this is as simple as it gets um but i know a lot of people have been asking me david how do you set up a business page how do you set up the business manager you know how do you start from scratch and that's what i'm going to show you in this one so shout out to my friend ramona um a realtor in florida just kicking ass crushing it with keller williams and so she's now finally taken her business to social media right she's still she's still building her business she's been building her business offline and, and super successful but now as she comes on to social media and now looking to learn facebook advertising she's actually one of the few that don't have a business page and she just simply asked me if i can put it up you know, together. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I can actually make a video about it. You know, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do here is just simply walk you through the basics of setting up a Facebook business page. Okay. And I'm going to use my friend, you know, Ramona here to, to show you the example. So shout out to Ramona. Here's all you're going to do, you guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you, I'm going to actually walk you through um, the business manager side of it all. A lot of, a lot of people will just come in here, hit pages and just create something from here, right? You can create a, a new page from here. That's how a lot of, a lot of people will actually do it. But I'm going to, again, our whole, our whole strategy and objective and just, just intention is to is to is to run facebook ads so i'm going to show you how to actually create the page from the business manager from the business settings which is where you want to set everything up for um from i should say um for success you want to do it through the business manager now this is the first time i'm actually in her account so i don't even know if she has a business man manager just yet i just turned on the camera and i'm set, and i'm like dude let me just show you guys how i do this so i'm going to kind of unveil or 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 unreveal or unreveal is that what it is i'm gonna i'm gonna unreveal um I, I i think that's the damn word i'm gonna i'm gonna really see what the hell's in here okay so starting from scratch a person that doesn't have a business page yet and and i'll just show you how i do the damn how i do the damn thing so so here's what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna simply i'm gonna hit the home button right here and i'm gonna come over here to the left hand side i'm gonna click on see more and i want to go to the ads manager okay that's where i want to be now every facebook account every personal account has an ads manager what we want is we want a business manager right the business manager manager just allows us to see more metrics it allows us to have people connect to our account connect to our business page it, it allows us to give access to other people that are going to be maybe running ads or managing the account um so there's just more functions and more more ability to 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 give when you have a business manager, um, not just an ads manager. And that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna see if she has and if and if she doesn't have one, then we'll set one up, um, and then and then we'll create the business page from that. Okay. So as I'm coming back here for the first time, this you'll see pop up um, acceptable ad targeting ad discrimination. So you'll want to you'll want to kind of just hit this. And then, and then here's the basic policy. You'll want to click on this. That way, Facebook knows that you're you're actually you know going through it. And then at the bottom, you're gonna just click on accept. And that's just standard stuff. You know, thanks for accepting our non-discrimination policy. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna hit done. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to the to the dots and I'm gonna click on business settings. This will actually let me know if she has a business manager account and she doesn't. So right when you go to business settings. It'll push you right here if you don't have a, a business manager, which is which is perfect. So I'm gonna simply walk you through how we set one up. Um, and the business manager here, here's the deal: every personal Facebook page has an ads manager. That ads manager has an ad account, right? So, and it's only one. A business manager gives you up to five. So it only it's it's only if you're really going all in with Facebook ads. Um, and it tells you right here, business ad accounts, pages, and the people who work on them all in one place. That's a business manager. So it's if you're going to be delegating, you know, um, maybe you're marketing to other people and you need to give them access to your account. Um, this is how you want to do it through your business manager account. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create account right here at the top. And then we're going to name this um, Ramona Kitterman Realtor. That's going to be the name of, let me make sure I'm spelling it right. Um, let's go R-A-M-O-N-A -A and then K-I, perfect. So that's that's what we're rocking with. And then um, her name is that right there. And then the business email, let me go ahead and put in her business email. 
And then once you enter that email, you guys, you'll see a, you'll see a verification, little notification there, and you'll want to verify your email. Okay. So that's why I just had to do, I, I just had to, I had to have the client verify her email. And that's all you want to do is shoot them a message, which is what I just did. I said, Hey, I just put your email in, confirm the email. Okay. Cause Facebook's going to, going to want you to verify um, that that um, email. Okay. So that's what just happened right there. So introducing Facebook business suite. And um, this is just a simple tutorial, share with more people, um, a better way to manage Facebook and Instagram all in one, pl one place. So again, more insights, more metrics, and then schedule, publish and manage posts for both Facebook and Instagram. So it, it just gives you the ability to do more. Um, and that's what you want. So if you're all in with Facebook ads, set up a Facebook business manager. Okay, so um, I can just X out of this. this is just giving me a walkthrough. Now, all I want to do is I want to simply come over to the I want to go to let's go to let's go to ads right here. And we want to go back to the ads manager. So let's go to, um, let's click on, let's open up this. Let's go back to, and this is the business suite. But what we want to do is we want to go to the actual business manager. And so this is um, legacy production company. So let's go to, so once, once, this is where I was at right here, you guys. Once that's set up, this is where, where I was just at. I was in. Once it's set up, it it's it by default, you may you may be put in, you may see your name right here. But what I just set up was this one, right? This is the business manager. So hit the drop down and go to that one. That's the one you want to be in. And then over here, you want to go to business settings, and that's this right here. So this is where the magic happens. This is what you want. And 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 what you what you want to do also is maybe just create a folder at the top and 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 create ads manager, create a, create a folder up here, add folder, and just name this one ads or, or business manager, business manager, and put this right here at the top. That's what I would do if I were you guys, right? So just right here at the top, and then you bookmark this page, and we'll call it business settings, right? Ramona Kitterman Realtor, um, this is her business settings, so I can hit, I, I make sure it's in the right folder, right? So we'll go to business manager and hit done. And then, and then you just start bookmarking a bunch of, you know, important tabs um, all through here, which that's a whole nother call, but um, this is where we want to be. This is the business settings and this is where, where everything happens. So once you're in here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add, I got to add, um, actually her name's already right there. So we're good with that. So make sure that under here, under people, make sure that that says your name. Okay. So you have a new business manager right here, business manager account. That's the one we just named, but a person still needs to be tied to that business manager. So that's her, that's her right here, Ramona. Okay. So um, down below, we're going to go to pages. And so this is where I'm going to create the business page. So I didn't create it from my personal profile. I, I, I came into the business manager. I came into the business settings and I'm actually going to create it from here. Okay. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add. And I'm going to go add a page or create a new page, or you can request access to a page. But in this case, we're going to create a whole new page. Okay. So depend on your business, right? Then just click on what, you know, applies to you. But in her case, she's a local business owner. She's a real estate broker, right? A realtor in, in a local area. And so we're going to go local business or place. Um, there's all these other ones, but that's the most you know, used one for, for what she's doing. It's not company organization or institution. It's not brand or product. Um, in her case, it's local business. So we're going to go with that one. And then the page name is going to be the same. So we're going to go with Ramona Kitterman Realtor. That's going to be the name of the page. Okay. So Ramona Kitterman Realtor. And then again, all you do is just choose your category. So down here in her case, we're going to go real estate um, right there. And then um, the address, damn it, I don't know her address. Give me one second. Let me grab her business address. All right, guys, so I just put in the address and that was it. So now we're up and going, man. Now we're, now we're, we're, we're progressing here, right? So here's what I'm going to do now. Pages, you always want to make sure that your name is right there. Again, even though you have a business manager, everything is still tied to you, to a personal account, which is you, right? So, so you'll see that right here. And then, um, and then all we got to do is we can simply go to view page from right here. Okay. So again, this is, this is another part you'll want to bookmark. You'll want to bookmark your actual business page. Now, when you view it from this perspective, 
from this view, you're looking at it from the admin's view, right? This is not what it looks like on Facebook. Actually, it, it is what it looks like on Facebook, but at the same time, this is this is the admin view. So all you're gonna do is just um, once once I publish it, which let me check, let me let me make sure it's published. And that's what you want to do. Come into the settings right here in the top right. And then we'll come right here to page published and make sure it's published, right? So so that that right there is is already published. So the page should be good to go. Now, what I'm gonna do just for the heck of it. I'm going to just add a few images. So we're good there, we're good there. Um, and then Instagram, let's make sure that her Instagram, now I don't have access to her Instagram, but let me see if I can just connect. Actually, I, I might need her password for that. So um, this is what you'll wanna do. You know, you'll wanna, you'll wanna definitely connect your Instagram if you do have one. It might ask me for her password over here, so I won't. Yeah, so actually let me log in with Facebook. Let me see if she has one. Actually, yes. Yeah, see, so so that we'll do that part later, but that's how you'll want to do it. Um, and even Ramona, when you're watching this playback, that's what you want to do is, is just simply link your Instagram account. And if you don't have one, for sure set one up. And especially what we talked about as far as customizing customizing your links, that's what you want to customize is that Instagram link as well. Um, so here's what you want to do is um Everything is good over here. So page info, you'll want to come in here and you'll want to update all this stuff. So the page info, the um, the the um, contact information, your website, all that stuff goes in right here. Okay, so so again, all I, I, I went to settings and now I'm over here in page info and you'll want to just fill in all this information right here. So description, um, your phone number, your website, your email. Um, and, and here you want to go with a business email. You don't want to go with a Gmail. Go with your KW email or whatever your business email may be. Put that in right there. Um, whatever email is here, you want it to be the same one that you set up the business manager with. So the, the email that I set up, and, and I'm talking in this case to Ramona, um, the business email that I used to set up your business manager was your KW one. So put that same one right there. And then the address that doesn't have to show. So it has an address. It doesn't have an address. You can, you can put whatever, um, save changes. And, and to tell you the truth, what I would do, depending on who you are, right? Depend on who you are, um, depend on how, how much exposure, public exposure you want a lot of it or need. Um, a lot of times, you don't even have to put your physical address there. Like I wouldn't, like I wouldn't even put my phone number on here. Even if you're a, a, a local business owner, you know, in her case, a real estate agent, um, phone number is, is normally important when it comes to your branding and marketing, but on social media, a person will direct message you before they call you. Um, and, 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 and that direct message will come asking for your address, for example, right. You know what I mean? So, me personally, I don't put my, my address on anything. Even if it is a, a business address, I still don't put it on social media. Um, that's just me. You guys can kind of have your own preference, but um, um, I, I don't. It's just not necessary unless I have like a storefront, unless it's a public business and people can come in and buy some stuff, right? A store or whatever, like that's different. But if you're, if you're more independent and you're more um, even work from home type of entrepreneur, Address doesn't need to be shown public at all, um, nor does phone number. Again, most contacts will direct message you um, before anything else anyways. So kind of use your own discretion on, on, on this one, um, but it's up to you. So, so down here, office hours, you can for sure, you know, always open or open on selected hours and just fill in all that. And then all this other stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Now, this privacy policy, in fact, I'm going to put it up for you. Um, let's go to... In fact, let's go to her actual, I think her website is over here. So what I'm gonna do, the privacy policy is, is definitely important. You want to put that on your business page for sure. And if you don't have a privacy policy, um, all you gotta do is Google privacy policy generator and you can you can for sure um, um, find a free, a free software or a free company that actually um, generates privacy policies for sure, for sure. Um, in this case, she actually works for um, Keller Williams. So all I'm going to do is go to her Keller Williams website and grab the privacy policy from here. Okay. So 
Let me grab that here. And all you're going to do is go to the very, very bottom and you'll see it right down here. Bam, there it is there. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to copy this link right here. And that's going to be my privacy policy over here on my Facebook business page. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save changes and that's that. And then any additional information you can for sure put there, put there, but here's what I'm going to do now. So again, I'm viewing everything here from, from the back end, from the admin's view, right? The general public, I'll show you what it looks like once we once we go to the to to the actual um, Facebook page. But for now, let's just put um, let's put let's go and find an actual logo real quick. Keller Williams. Let's just find a quick image real quick. And Ramona, you can obviously change out these images, but I'm gonna just show you how how simple this is. So let's let's say I go with let's say we are number one. Let's see if I can find. Um, even that one looks pretty cool. Um, this one. Let's just let's just put something like this random for right now. Um, let's go and save this as image. Let's see if this. Let's see how this one looks. So let's just come here real quick. I'm going to add a cover photo. And there's ways you can edit this for sure. I use Canva to get the to get the exact dimension, but let me just see what this looks like for now. And you can you again you're gonna you're gonna change all this stuff later. Um, but let me just show you how simple this is. So so that 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 doesn't look bad. You know what I mean? It doesn't look bad. Obviously, you know you'll change it, but I'm gonna just put that here for now. Um, and then and then what I'm gonna do is just for sure put a you know put an image of 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 a profile picture of you. I wouldn't put anything else other than 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 your headshot. Um, up there. But for now, I'll just put anything. In fact, let me just go to, let me just, let me just find, let me just see if there's any cool images over here. Shout out to Ramona. If you guys are in the, in the, in, in the, in the market of buying or selling in the Sarasota area, hit up my girl right here, Ramona. She's kicking butt and just taking names, but something cool. And, 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 and a headshot, obviously, you know, a business headshot is cool, but, but even, even family, like, like family, this, this is a freaking awesome image right here of her and her husband. Like I'm going to, Again, you can change this later, Ramona, but I'm going to put this for now. Like, this is awesome. Like, I love showing. That's just me. That's just personal preference. You guys can kind of do whatever you want, but I love showing, and it's and it's done me very, very well as far as clients and building my business on social media. I love showing the family side of me, right? People can relate to that. You don't want to come over here and be too corporate. You don't want to come over here and be too damn business. You don't want to come over here and just have a freaking image of your logo, Right. I mean, a lot of people try to do that. Like a lot of people try to freaking um, hide behind a logo. It's like, dude, that's not social media. Like you're going to have a hard time trying to build your brand on social media if no one knows who the hell you are, right? So so when it comes to showing the family side of, 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 of you, like- Again, we relate to that. We we gravitate to that. Humans love seeing other humans. Like when you can show the real side of you, that's when your business can 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 explode on social media because more people can relate to you versus versus looking at a logo and trying to relate to that. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna upload that image, and I'm gonna simply put it right there. And again, Ramona, you can you can change out this image, but I mean, this is just a quick image that I just saw that I freaking love. Awesome image. Her and her husband right there, cool couple, look good looking couple. And I'm gonna just simply um, upload it and add it, add it right there. Um, so your page of story will now be archived on Facebook. Okay, cool. So let's add that there. And then let's refresh this bad boy real quick. Close out that, close out that, close out that. And where is that image? Let's see, did I add it the right way? Let's see. Okay, so all it's gonna ask me to do just is just um, freaking um, reposition it. So that's what I had to do real quick is just is now crop it, and then we save it, and then that's our new profile picture. So we're gonna add that real quick. Successfully saved. We'll refresh it, and then we'll see the new profile. So this is how you want to keep your business page, man. Is number one tip I can give you guys is 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 name your business page your name. Don't even if you have a company name. It's not the company name that goes into the business, the business name. Like this is her name, Ramona Kitterman Realtor, right? Make that your name. If you need to add something to the end of it, okay, cool. Realtor, she added Realtor to the end of it. But the more you can keep that your name, 
the better, right? The better. Because as as you go through the news feed, as let's come back over here and give you an example of, of what I'm talking about. As we, we scroll through the news feed and we see people that are running ads, we see ads that are from business pages. Look, look, when I see the, the, the name Ramona Kitterman, it makes it look like, and, and whenever you see the word sponsored, that's an ad. Now, in this case, it's just giving me an example of an ad. I'll show you some real ads. But anytime you see the word sponsored, that's a real ad. When I see Ramona Kitterman, I automatically from from just psycholo- just from a psychological and, and from a psychology and just from a, the, the way our human brain works, I automatically relate to that versus scrolling through and then I see a, a sponsored ad from let's see um, let's see if I can find a sponsored ad coming from a random business name. Like that's what you don't want. You don't want to, Look, Cheryl Roberts, perfect. She has her name. This is an actual ad um, that I'm seeing in her in, in the newsfeed. That's her name. What you don't want to do is just have that a completely different name, your business name. You don't want to name it there. Tiffany and Co. Obviously, we all know freaking Tiffany. So that's a that's a billion dollar brand. And and what I'm saying doesn't apply to that. For all of us other smaller entrepreneurs, what I'm saying it it applies. You want that business page name. Look. Lacanto, Lacanto, and then a, and, and then an image of a, of a freaking logo. If this was an ad, which it's not an ad, but if it was an ad, dude, I don't. I, I, automatically, I know it's an ad. Automatically, it's a brand that I never even heard of. Even if I have heard of it, right? It's not a big brand, and so the 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 the. the the attention, it's, it's, a, it's a completely different perception when I see a different name there versus seeing someone like Tina and just thinking that it's just part of my newsfeed, right? Look, Madison Wells at Leslie Wells Realty. Now, she kind of put a little twist to it, but at the same time, I would have just went Leslie Wells Realty, right? Leslie Wells. I wouldn't even have put Madison Wells, or if that's her name, Madison Wells at Leslie Wells. Okay, cool. It's a little confusing, but at the same time, that's her name, right? That's her name. That's what you want. You want your name in there. Don't try to put another one, UNICEF, right? So again, global brand, but at the same time, if that was a local brand, I wouldn't know who the hell it was. They're hiding behind a logo. There's no personality, right? So what we did over here, more personality, a picture of her and her husband. They look great. Name the page, your name, and then and then and then what you'll want to do to to really make your brand, make your actual company name stand out. That's the username. Okay, that's the username. That's where you create. That's why I was talking to Ramona yesterday about customizing the username. So by default, you have this long ass, and it's really this one right here. This is the real the real link. So Facebook.com. And then by default, they give you this long, ugly link, right? So if I go to that, in fact, let me just let me just go to that over here. If I go to that, that's going to take me to her business page. And this is how people on Facebook will now see her business page from, from this view. Let me show you this one. But this link up here, this is where you can now customize it to your business name, right? Your company name, that could be that, that right there. And, and so what I want you to do is, is whatever name you put right here, that's the same username you use for LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, the .com, go out there and get the .com. So rather than using your, your default KW link, for example, or, or some other random link, go and get the same .com that you changed and, and created your username around, right? Whatever that one name is, that's that's step one, what I call step one, link customization. That's the username. So once you think of that one name, go ahead and change it right here, click on create username, and, and, and that would reflect up here. So for example, what I would do, if this was the name that you were going to brand, is just go and name it that. So that's what we named the page, Ramona Kitterman Realtor. But if that's my real name that I'm also going to be branding all across everything, I would I would also change the username to that, but then also make sure that I change my Instagram, my Twitter, my LinkedIn. I'll make sure that I go and get a go and get go and get the dot com for that as well, right? So um, a good little hack to get the dot com. Let's even see if the dot com is available. Um, a good little hack is just go to go da- or go to Google. Go to Google first and type in cheap domains. Okay, 
So we're going to go go to, and, and all you're looking for at the very, very top is you're looking for the GoDaddy ad. Some of you will see $2.99 and then some of you will see 99 cents. So um, you're looking for the GoDaddy ad. Click on that one and then you can register that first domain at a discount. Um, now, if you already have a GoDaddy account, then you'll probably have to register this new one under a different email and a different credit card to get that discount. But if you don't care about the discount and you know you'll pay full price or whatever the normal eleven ninety nine of whatever it is, then then go ahead and you know use the same account. But to to get the discount, register under a different name or a different email, different email and different credit card. So look, it's available. So if that's the one name you're rocking with, you're going to get the .dot com through this strategy right here. And then you're going to also change the username to that as well. Okay. Now I would do it right now, but um, I don't know the username that she's going to use just yet. So we'll just have to use, you know, just use the random default one that Facebook just gave us right now. But, um, but that's fine. So over here, back to over here, I'm going to add a button also. That's what, that's what I want to do real quick right now is um, we'll just put contact um and then send message. Now, here's a real, a real good, you know, tip as well for for a lot of you guys. Whether you're a real estate agent or or anyone else, what you want to do is you want to you want to you want to you want to get yourself some type of, of PDF, some type of free guide, some type of informational guide that you give to your market. So, for example, in her case, she's a real estate agent, right? A realtor. What I would do is I would I would go with. Well, first of all, you would have to you would have to go and 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 get like a um like a landing page, and you'd have to get a a buyer guide or a seller guide. That's what I'm saying. So if you're a realtor, you're a realtor. I would be giving away a free seller guide or a free buyer guide. So what I would do is I would come over here and I'd click on learn more, right? I'd go with that one, and then over here I would tie a website link to the learn more button. So when now, when people come over here and they click on learn more, it takes them straight to my webpage where they can download their free seller guide. So if you're in the restaurant business, if you're in the, the yoga business, whatever business, come up with a free PDF, come up with a free download that you can offer your market, right? That you can offer your exact ideal client and have that button there. Because too many times I see send message. It's like, dude, there's really no, there's really no call to action there. Give something, give something of value for free. And this is a good, a good place to put it is in the actual call to action button on your business page. So this wouldn't be a link to your KW site. Cause there's, there's really, it's not really a lead, a full blown lead capture page. Um, and even if it is, there's really nothing there. Make that link, go to a seller guide where people could just click download a free seller guide and you can capture a lead. You know, so apply that to whatever business you guys may be on, be be in. Um, that's a good a good strategy right there. So we don't have that just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply come back and I'm going to go with just the send message, the 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 most common send message one, and I'll just click on finish. So now that we finish that, we'll come back over here to the actual business page, and if we refresh it, this add a button. This should say now send message. And what I can do is I could tie it to her KW site. I could do that, or I can just leave it, you know, send message. Uh, we'll just leave it send message. Message. That's fine. So um, there's a send message button right there. So go ahead and like it, right? And then and then what else? So over here, let me. I just added the profile picture. I just added the cover photo. But what I do is I just delete it. I delete it off the timeline. Um, delete from page. I don't need any, any more clutter right there. That could stay there. That's fine. And I can even pin it too, pin to the top of the page. So it looks good at the top. Um, but again, once you think of that one custom link, you'll want to come over here, whether it's, whether it's looking at the, the page from here or looking at it, looking at it from here, but you'll want to create that username. That's one thing you'll want to do right away. Think of the one, the one username you're going to use for all your social media platforms and match it right here with the username. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm actually going to simply link this to her personal page. So when you come to her personal page, you can click on a link or click on the business page link and it'll take people straight there. So right now she currently has it going to her Keller Williams. What I want to do is I want to simply edit that. So I'm going to, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to edit details and, and you can see it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a workplace. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some information. Let's see if I can just grab um, 
if if she has any information in in this workplace over here. Okay, so Realtor Sales Associate, Sarasota. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply I'm going to simply replace it. Ramona Kitterman. I'm going to simply replace it with that one. Okay, so leave the position, leave the city, leave all that, save. And now as I come to her personal page, so I just, I just saved that we're good there. So let me refresh it. Actually, it's already showing up right there, but let me just refresh it anyways. And so now if I come back to her timeline, to her personal profile, if I come to the post right here, you'll see the intro um, right here in the top left. So there it is there. So now I just updated that link and boom. That link, now if I click on it from her personal page, it takes me straight to her business page. Bam, right there. Now, as people, as your friends, for example, click on it, they're not going to view it this way. This is not how it looks. This is how it looks on the admin site. So as I'm logged into to, to your account, Ramona, this is what I see and how I see it from the admin side. But like if you go to my business page, for example, you'll see as people go to your page, They'll see it like this. So just like I'm going to my business page from your account. Um, so as you look at my business page, you'll see it like this. You'll see it just like a visitor, right? So just like a visitor, you'll see it just like this, right? So this is how people are looking at your page, um, just like this. So over here again, just like on the personal page where I, I you know, I advised her yesterday to, to make sure she links everything. On the business page, you want to make sure that you customize and link everything as well. So right over here, you're, you're matching that username with everything, okay? So um, whatever username you go with over here, match it with Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest. Even if you're not on those other platforms, you still need to lock it. You still need to list it. You, you still need to have a presence over there. You don't need to be posting on all these platforms. You just need to lock that name and have a presence, okay? This is your brand, your business that you're building. It's not just about you, okay? So it's about your brand. It's, about, it's the fact that hundreds of millions of people are on these other platforms, and these are all potential clients that you could possibly be doing business with. So match the platforms and get them listed, okay? So that's pretty much all I wanted to do, you guys, is I is I created the business page through the business manager over here, and I make sure my name is right there. Now, there's other steps that we want to take over here as we start to build this out, but um, this is enough information from here um, to really get everything going. Now, one, one thing you'll want to do, Ramona, is you'll want to come over here. So again, to, to get here, let's say I'm... I'm, I'm Let's say I'm on your personal page, right? So I'm on your personal page. Here's what you want to do, and I'm going to end it here. I'm on your personal page. What you what what you got to do now is simply come over here to home, and then you want to click on ads manager over here to the left. And then what you're going to do, again, create the folder up here at the top and start bookmarking these pages. You want to start bookmarking the business manager. So as I click on ads manager to the left, right, right there in the news feed, right? It brought me over here. What I want to do is I want to come over here to the dots and I want to click on business settings. This is what, what I want to do. I want to click on business settings. And then what I want to do to double check is I want to click the drop down to make sure I'm in the right account. Because as you come over here to the ads manager, this is where you'll start running ads from. A lot of times when, when you're navigating through it, by default, Facebook will have you in this in this account. So if you see your profile picture up here, in fact, you know what? I'm going to change out that profile picture. Let's just put something random for now. And you can always change it. But um, because that that's the one you want to be in. You want to be in in that account. So let's just put let's just put this one for now. Okay, you can always change it. So save image. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the business info, but this is what you want to do. So you're going to want to come in here. I'm going to just add this image for now, um, and you'll want to you'll want to you'll want to add all this info. So all this info you see below, make sure you fill all that out. Okay, so let me submit. So now we just changed out that image. This is your new business manager. This is where you want to bookmark. So again, you're you're in you're in the business settings of this specific account. Okay, so um, 
Let's just refresh this. There goes the new logo. Um, and that's what you'll see here in the, in the drop down, right? So always make sure you're in this account right here and then just start bookmarking a bunch of stuff. But as you come over here, you'll want to click on Instagram account, link up your Instagram. You'll want to come down here to um, payment methods, enter your payment uh, information right there. You'll want to come down here to business info and you'll want to fill in all this information right here. Okay. From the, from the legal business name. And this doesn't have to be a corporate name. This doesn't have to be an LLC or a corporation, whatever business name, Ramona Kitterman realtor, that could be the name of the, of the, of the, of the legal business name right there. That's totally fine. And then put the right address. Um, none of this stuff is public. So this is just what you'll see, what, what Facebook sees and what you'll see internally. So, um, this information won't show on your business page. Um, it's just what Facebook, you know, wants you to comply with. So fill out that, put in your business email down here. So you'll want to um, verify this KW email. So hopefully you've already verified that. Um, and if not, make sure you resend and verify that email. That's very, very important. And as you start to run more ads, then you'll start to get more ad accounts. Right now you'll start with one, but as you start to run ads and as, as Facebook starts to start to hit the credit card for your ads, um, they'll start increasing this ad limit to five. Now that's only if you have multiple businesses and run and need more accounts, but one is fine for what you're doing here. Um, but, but again, just for sure, come over here, business info and fill out this information. Okay. So, um, that's pretty much it. You guys, I want to make sure that you guys knew how I set up a business manager and how I actually set up a business page. I do it through the business manager. I do it through over here and create it that way. Okay. And then just make sure that that is tied to a, a, a person. Um, so we're going to go, let's go. Um, yeah, that's the business page. So it's tight. It's tied to that. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to tie it to her as well. So that that's it right there. So assign perfect. So now you'll see you'll see done. So now, now it's tight. Let's refresh this page. So that's the, that's the page. And then you'll see her name over here as well. Okay. So there goes Ramona Kitterman down here. Perfect. So we got the, we got the page. This is the realtor page. And then we have the person tied to it. Always make sure you do that for sure. Tie your name um, to the page. Okay. So that's pretty much it, you guys. So um, you can do a lot of editing through here, or I can even do editing of the business page from over here. Um, but that link, just make sure again, that is tied to your personal page. And that's right here in the intro. So now as people come to her personal page, um, they'll see a link right away to hers. They can hover over it and like it, or they can just simply, you know, go to it from here. Um but you always want to make sure that's clickable. And then again, down here, get rid of that KW link, get your own custom.com and simply forward it. You can always forward it to this one right here. In fact, you know what? Let me just put this one for now. Let me just put this one um, in the website field of your business page. Let me just make sure I do that real quick. So let me copy that. Let's see if this takes me there. Um, let's go with, let's take this part out and see if that takes us there. Okay, cool. So this is your actual link right here, HTTPS. So, um, copy that. In fact, let me see if I need to switch this out. Let's do this real quick. Always make sure these links are clickable. You guys always make sure these links are clickable, um, contact and basic info. This is where you'll want to put that link. So look, it's HTTP. That's what she put. That's why it's going error, right? That's why I'm seeing that error. It's HTTPS, right? So there's that, that new link. Now it's clickable. Okay, so I'm going to also add it to her business page. So now if I come back to the personal page, refresh this. These links, you guys, always make sure these links are clickable. Um, cause ain't nobody going to copy it, paste it, see if it works. Like no one's, no one's really going to do all that. Don't make it harder for someone to get to your link, right? Let them click. Everyone's lazy. Let us all click and, and get to the damn thing. Right? So now I click and boom, I'm there. Perfect. So now what I want to do is I want to add it to the business page. So I'm going to come over here, come over here to her business page. I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to simply go to more. I'll click on about and I can add it here. So if I come down, I can, I can, I can, well, I can hit the edit right here. Actually, it's not that one. Let's go to, 
right here, enter website. So I'm gonna just simply paste it in right there. That's the new website, it saves automatically. And then I can X out and there's that new website. Okay, and then I can also put the email right there, but I'll have, I'll have her put that. In fact, you know what, let me just put that for now. I'll put, actually, you know what, I'll have her do that. So Ramona, just put your email right there. But again, make sure you verify if you get, if you get an email from Facebook, always make sure you, you, you verify it and then just come back over here and just fill in the blanks. Okay. Fill in the blanks, hit, hit more, hit about, and just fill in the blanks. But um, I can't stress enough. Make sure that that one username matches all platforms, get the .com through GoDaddy and, 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 and just take your brand, you know, your overall branding to the next level. But that's how you set up a business page. You guys pretty simple. Um, that's how you do it in 2021 and, and beyond. And again, the little things that the little golden nuggets that I'm giving you is put your name up here. Um, if you need to put your business name, that's the username. Okay. Um, but then also make sure that that page, that profile picture is you show your pearly whites, show you show your personality, your family, your husband, you know, depending on your business, right? I think that right there, they look like a team that looks good right there. But if it's just her as the realtor, then, then obviously just put her, just put you, you know what I mean? But kind of, you know, use your own judgment, but, but keep it personal. That's what people like. This is social media. Allow us to relate to you. Um, don't make that be some random logo and, and no one knows who the hell you are. So bookmark your business settings over here. You guys um, make sure you're in the right account. So if I refresh this, we should see that red logo um, up here in the top left. Um, that's the, that's the ad account you, or that's the business manager. That's the overall account that you want to always make sure you're working out of is the business manager. Um, so we should see that red logo up here in the top left and there it is there. So, um, what I advise you, I advise you guys to do is, is create a folder and just start putting a bunch of bookmarks in that folder. Okay. So that's how you do the damn thing, you guys. Um, and I'll see you on the next video over and out.